one Drake fan in particular is just is just very questionable right now. And I'm talking about Lil Yachty. Now, I don't know. Someone has to remind me, refresh my memory. When did Lil Yachty become a respected voice in hip hop? Somebody please let me know. I have never known Lil Yachty to have really done anything positive for hip hop. In the chat. When did Lil Yachty become a respected voice? Why why do people pay attention to what he has to say? What age group anointed him? Because like me, I'm sure many of you are like me. Lil Yachty is just kind of like a meme rapper. We know him for making terrible music. Like, you know, the play with the pussy like peekaboo song. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. That's literally the song. That's how it goes. We know him for making terrible music. Meme music. Why is he a voice in hip hop? Or why is he posturing? To be a voice in hip hop, I'm, I'm gonna read the chat, cause I I don't know. I I, I want to know why is why do people not only listen to his music? Why do people listen to what he has to say about hip hop? This is like something that is spawned in the last year. Lil Yachty being like a respected voice to some people in hip hop. Echo Lil, Echo said Lil Yachty is the pin according to Rick Ross. What pin? What pin? Carisha from City Girls, Young Miami's pin? So are we listening to Young Miami's raps and being like, damn, like, yes, Pulitzer Prize, Grammy, you know, critical acclaim level lyrics Young Miami is spitting because we, I mean, we know Lil Yachty's writing has written a lot of her raps. Are we really listening to Young Miami's lyrics and being like, yo, whoever's writing her shit, Fuego. Why did Echo say a ghostwriter for Drake? So what Drake lyrics that Lil Yachty has written, and I know Lil Yachty, the Jumbotron shit popping song is, you know, that was Yachty first. But what lyrics that Drake has spit that were written that were written by Yachty have that effect that damn, like what did Drake say rewind that? It's either poetic. It has is super vivid. It has imagery. What Yachty lyrics are like that? Uh, again, I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all tell me before before I really start cooking. I'm gonna let y'all tell me in the chat. What lyrics that Drake is saying that Lil Yachty wrote is is like that? No, no Kendrick. <laughs> which which lyrics are really like that? Because, you know, there are some people that, that used to say on the Nas track, Queens Get the Money, that Jay Electronica wrote that. You don't know how high the sky is, the square mileage of Earth, or what pie is. Like, yeah, they say Jay Electronica wrote that song. He produced it. He made that beat, but they say he wrote it. So I could see someone hearing that rumor and being like, damn, like, yeah, those Nas lyrics was, was potent. Damn, that nigga Jay Electronica got a pen. I could see calling a nigga like that the pen. I could see... I could see but what did Drake say that, that Yachty wrote where Yachty deserves the name The Pen? I'm going to keep it real. The fact that Yachty is still relevant in 2024 is mind blowing. That's what I'm saying. No bars. None. Not a bar. Bro, that, that's literally what I'm saying. So anyways, let's get into this. So Yachty got into a skerfuffle with a Drake OVO stand account. We're gonna, we're gonna find this original tweet. He got a skerfuffle with a Drake Stan account over not coming to his man's Drake's aid. Let's see if we can find the root of this issue. Oh yeah, they, they going in. Oh, here we go. And we're gonna watch this too. We're gonna see what Lil Yachty gotta say about this situation. And we just gonna tell him why T should just, bro, I just wish he would just pick a different music genre and just leave hip hop alone, bro. Go into acting, even go into producing. We don't need niggas like Lil Yachty in hip hop, bro. This is like the shit he makes is not like it's harming the genre more. Like, bro, 
Don't make me start cooking. Anyways, you are absolutely shameless. Loyalty. Well, we'll get we'll get into this when we when we start watching this video. Lil Yachty also thinks oh, we'll, we'll listen to that. Oh, so Lil Yachty saw this post because Lil Yachty apparently is follow or he mentioned Yachty or Yachty was following this guy. You making shit what is not. Not everybody and their mama know what side I'm on. You know, every oh everybody and their mama know what side I'm on. He's on Drake's side, basically, is what he's saying. And he got name dropped in Euphoria, the Kendrick Lamar diss record. He says, uh, Yachty can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hang with. You fans be overdoing shit. I didn't go into any specifics of the song. Stop trying to spin narrative. So Yachty is basically saying, yo, every, I don't need to come out and say, because basically this stand account wanted Yachty to come out in defense of Drake. But, but, but really, I mean, who the fuck do you think Lil Yachty is? You think Lil Yachty is going to step out against Kendrick? Like, 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 <laughs> like you think Yachty's going to release a song and just eat their Kendrick right quick? Bro, like, <laughs> what are we talking about here? No, because what side are you on actually? You literally said you don't th think Drake won or lost, and we'll get to that. And again, this is some more OVO dick riding shit. You know, Kendrick said OVO niggas is dick riders. You don't think Drake won or lost. How Bro, he lost. You heard the heart part six? He's defeated. He doesn't want to do this anymore. He's burnt out. Those are his words, quotes, verbatim. How are you trying to stay neutral when your so-called brother has been called a, pe a pedo by the same guy you say you respect? The whole world is against him, and the only time you said something, you made him look bad. What type of friend are you? So so I have to actually have to give this OVO uh, dick riding stand account a round of applause. Because unlike many of these other Drake stands, they acknowledge that this didn't turn out right for Drake. They're not trying to pretend like, oh, well, Family Matters is the best song, and then this, you know, E equals MC squared, so technically Drake won. No, they realize this shit is all bad for Drake. Kendrick won, and then why didn't now they're now they're in the anger part. You know, what, what are the stages of grief? Let's look at the stages of grief. And I, I'm gonna tell you what stage of grief that they're in. So shock and denial. So that was that was like last week. That was like all of last week and like the last period, pretty much ten days. Pain and guilt. So pain and guilt. That that would pretty much be like last week. They're hurt. They're seeing everybody dance to not like us. They're like they're like fucking it, pain. The shock and denial part is different. Kendrick dropped family or Kendrick dropped Meet the Grams right after Family Matters. Then he drops not like that's shock. Like what, what's happening? The pain and guilt. You see everybody partying to these songs, to these Kendrick songs. All these Kendrick songs are in the top 10, 15. Right now, they're, they're at number three. They're at anger and bargaining. <laughs> they're at anger and bargaining. Now he's lashing out at other Drake stands, being Lil Yachty. What kind of friend are you? So pretty, so pretty soon, it's going to be depression. Uh, which they, and I actually think they might be somewhere here. But eventually Drake's going to drop his, he's going to drop some new music. He's going to be back on the charts. It'll This will be behind him. It'll be the upward turn. Then they're still going to, this Kendrick versus Drake stuff is never going to go away. It's going to be like Jay-Z Nas. So they're going to have to work through that. But it's cool. And then eventually they'll accept. See, y Yachty isn't here yet. The, the OVO dick riding stand account is closer to number seven than Yachty is because they are they are already on the road to accepting that Drake took a big L right here. RIP big L. They're already they're already low key accepting it. But they just need to get the hope. Yachty is not here. Yachty is not at acceptance. Yachty is probably like right about here. Pain and guilt, anger and bargaining. He's somewhere right here. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you gotta break these niggas down psychologically. You know what I mean? Uh, and this is funny right here. Uh, suck a dick, nerd. It wasn't my beef to speak on, to speak in. Let me start giving these niggas like the benefit of the doubt. He sees it wasn't my beef to speak in. We gotta make them sound as dumb as they actually sound. Fuck you want me to do? Jump on a feature? Hell no. That's what we don't want to do. We nope. Yeah, it's, if it's three rappers I really do not like, Yachty, Baby King, Tierra Whack. Tierra Whack actually just spit a fire verse on Chief Keef 
Almighty So 2 album, which I'll probably end up reviewing next week. So good job to your whack. You finally got a good verse. I said I felt like nobody won. The whole thing was stupid to begin with. <laughs> okay, so now the whole thing is just stupid to begin with. So, so yeah, see, he tells you. Yachty is like, he's still in the, in the, the denial part. You got to move along the seven stages of grief, man, or you're just going to be, it's only going to hurt you. <laughs> it was stupid to begin with. When I support, I'm dick riding. When I don't, when I don't say shit, I, uh, I switched up. This internet shit so lame. So, oh my gosh. And I'm going to get to the chat. I'm going to get to the chat, but I told you I'm going to cook real quick. Suck a dick nerd. So the gall of Lil Yachty to come out, come out and call people nerds. Lil Yachty is is a nerd, bro. Like, bro, we've all seen Lil Yachty talk. We've seen him walk. Like, we've seen... The, I'm a nerd. So imagine me getting mad at someone and being like, yo, suck a dick, nerd. Like, bro, you're a nerd too, bro. Like, do you think you've ascended past nerddom or something like that? I'm not going to insult somebody and be like, yo, suck a dick nerd as if I'm above nerddom. I'm going to be like, yo, you're a dick writer. I'm going to say some shit that I'm not. Bro, I can't take this dude seriously. So, look at it. Anger. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the stand account is actually closer to anger than depression. I think probably tomorrow and the day after they'll get to, get to the depression because they're going to see all the blowback from the Lil Yachty stands against what they're saying. So like tomorrow, maybe today, tonight, tomorrow, they'll be at, you know, entering the depression stage. It wasn't your beef to speak on. Then why aren't you going in an interview just to say you respect the same guy who called your brother a pedophile? <laughs> okay. He's right. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Fucking you know nothing about that. He's right. If, if it wasn't your, because Yachty said it wasn't my beef to speak on. So he's saying, then why the fuck did you just speak on it? And say a song where he screams certified pedophile repeatedly, banging. Or he was banging. Gotta give Yachty credit for that. If you want to stay neutral, keep that same energy all the way and shut up. Damn, this, uh, he, uh, this, this, is a, this is the mad person right here. He's mad. You're being dense on purpose, and we see right through you, pussy. Mm. What, do, what do Yachty say in response? I think that's, yeah. Oh, he says nobody knows you. Okay. I'm surprised he just didn't come out and say, yo, like, I got more money than you. That's what these niggas do. Like, I got more money than you, though. Okay, nobody knows you. Okay, but what about what he was saying? If no, if he's really a nobody, like what Lil Yachty is trying to entertain, like, you're a nobody anyways. Why, why not address what he's saying? He can't refute it. If it wasn't your beef to speak on, like you say, then why did the fuck did you just speak on it? I mean, he has a point. So he can't refute it, so he just calls him a nobody. But really, if he was a nobody, then why are you arguing with him? Bro got depressed by Twitter account. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's actually go back and listen to what Yadi was saying. Um, I'm gonna read the chats first. Okay. Yeah, I'm way too famous. For the shit you suggested, how can these OVO stands get behind that logic? Right. Again, um, Kendrick said it himself. OVO niggas is dick riders. I mean, we, we know this. I'm way too famous to be a pedophile. I'm way too famous to, to, to be a criminal, basically. Like, that's not how that works, man. We've seen what's happened the past, even just in the past three, four years with all these allegations coming out against famous people. You could literally not pick a worse time to say that. I'm way too famous for what you suggested. If it would have, if it was true, I would have been arrested or whatever the hell Drake said on the Hard Part Six. And I, I can't wait until Kendrick comes back and reclaims the Hard Part Six because we can't be having a Heart series and a Heart Part Six associated with weak music. Yadi is the pen. Okay, we already read that. They got to be 15 to 18. They got to be. Man, who the fuck asked for Yachty to say anything about this beef at all? I'm here to tell you right now, we do not, we do not care. Facts. We do not care. Ghost for drugs. Never only like one song from him, the Black Seminole, and he's not even in the song for more than half the time. I mean, I heard Yachty's Let's Start Here album, which people were going again, just social media. 
it's probably bots, honestly, a lot of paid marketing, but people are saying this is such a great album. He's not even rapping really on that album, which I prefer. I don't want to hear Yachty rap. I think he has a, and I'm not even trying to like bash this dude. I just think his rapping voice is not a natural rapping voice. It doesn't sound good. Um, so I would prefer him to do a different genre. I think I said that earlier. Um, I bought this. Twitter user is obsessed with defaming Kendrick facts. Yachty fits better when the music leans more towards rock. I can't speak on his production. I don't think I've heard Yachty do any, any rock leaning music. Are we talking about the Let's Start Here album by Yachty? Because I don't even think that was rock. That was like some alternative. Anything he uh, anything that he does musically is going to be better than his rapping. Because one, he don't rap about shit. And two, the shit he raps about does not sound good coming from his mouth. Pause. I mean, it does, doesn't sound, he doesn't have a good rapping voice. So I think any type of music that he does is inherently going to be better than his rap music, no matter what it is. Cat Williams' statement is getting certified every day. Yeah, Cat Williams, he was on point. Yachty is P. Drizzy's friend. Oh, I was going to say, who's P. Drizzy? But I know what you're saying here. But even his friends ain't wearing them Millie Bobby 13s. <laughs> Yo, Big Black Crypto's going crazy. Burning a hole in $450 million hole in Nike's pockets. Shout to Antoine in the chat. Um, to say no one lost is crazy when Dot Dog walked him. Yeah, and we're going to get to that, too. Antoine said, Tierra Wack got a good verse. Don't believe that. Nah, yeah. I'm going to do a video um, sometime this week. Yo, I shitted on Tierra Wack. I said, yo, you need to start rapping. I said, who the fuck is your music catered towards? No one's going to listen to this shit. I really went in on Tierra Wack because, her, I mean, her music pretty, like does suck. But, she, but when she does something good, I'm going to be like, yo, I'm going to give her props. When she do weak shit, I'm going I'm to crash. I'm going to crash out on her. But when she do something good, I'm going to... And then if she drops enough good verses, I'm going to be like, all right. What I said about you in the past is no longer relevant to your life. You're on my good side now. But she's not there yet. It's one good verse. Which, I mean, it's a start. Drizzy's and Los Poyos TV are two of the biggest Drake Meat writers on Twitter. It's funny as hell reading their comments. Not yet. So that's who this is. Drizzy's. Who the fuck really <laughs> sitting around a <the> house? <laughs> like, I wonder what Yachty thinks of all this. He needs to speak up, right? Yes, it's like that uh, Dave Chappelle stand up. Like, who gives a fuck what Ja Rule thinks at a time like this? Like, bro, Lil Yachty. I want to know who it is listening to, to Lil Yachty music, man. Because, you know, like, a lot of the um, super young hip-hop crowd, like, the way, the way they try to clown more conscious rappers or underground rappers is they say things like, yo, I've never heard anybody riding around listening to xyz whether it's kendrick whether it's whatever lupe but i've actually never heard anybody ever riding around listening to lil yachty i only see lil yachty mentioned on on twitter i would say on the internet but it's not even on the entire internet i only see him mentioned on twitter that's it humble is kendrick's first number one i need to look that up solo number one okay okay if that's true i believe that i believe it if it's true i just i have no way to to uh Verify that. <laughs> Dude got pressed by a Twitter account. He should have not said shit. They actually think these industry cats are friends like that, though. It's all business in the end. Yeah, that's facts. Where's my... Uh, facts! Facts. If Baby King dropped a good verse, I'm still not giving the props. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. I just don't want to hear Baby King on Kendrick music. If he drops a good verse on his album and I happen to hear it, yo, salute. But please, just stay the fuck away from Kendrick's music. Okay, so we're going to listen to what The Boat had to say about this. Because this is what everyone was waiting for, right? Lil Yachty's opinion on hip-hop, right? Hey, hold on. Where we at? We right here. So. So many people kept, like, calling me and texting me and, like, with excitement of, like, my name being used and it was it for me it kind of let me know if y'all can hear that on my side it's like a little low but i can hear it let me know if y'all can hear that just felt like fuck <laughs> you know i really didn't want anything to do with it um i don't know i i, I again it was it yeah, he's biting his tongue he's really biting his tongue he's not if drake is really a man's like that 
You can't you come out and say yo, I was right when my man's Drake. Da, 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 da. You can still you can still keep it real and be like yo Kendrick Cook, like he he did his thing, but you know, I was right with my man's Drake. He not saying that. I got a ton of ton of respect for both of these guys. You know, to be honest, I knew that my name was mentioned before it came out. I didn't hear the record, but I, I had got word that I was mentioned. Yeah, I wasn't surprised. It wasn't a surprise. I mm. Yeah, y'all said we can hear. Okay, cool. Yeah, my side for some reason is, oh, I know why, because this headphone is broken. I just got these headphones too, already broken. Anyways, well, I think it's so you can see like some of the frustration with this Drizzy Stan account. Like, yo, Liotti's like playing both sides. He's not really saying what he means. I mean, he's not saying what we want to hear. Especially if you're a Drake Stan account, like, bro, Drake helped helped you be relevant again. Like, they're they're thinking like, yo, Drake just gave you a stemmy. He gave you a stemmy to allow you to write on his album, you know, to 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 be pictured with him. He gave you a whole stimulus, and you didn't step up. What the hell? How do you think it ends? Well, I think it's over. Oh, what did she ask? Well, I think it's over. Thanks. Facts. I think it ended. I think it ended with, um, not like us, man. It's shit banging. So he's telling the truth right here. He's telling the truth. Let me see if I can find his other comment. I think it's here on Instagram. Here we go. Let me see. Yeah, he was also mentioned by by Rick Ross and his in the Rick Ross disc record too. Let me see, Lil Yachty, Yak, T, Kendrick, Drake. Right here. <clears throat> okay, so this is the one I wanted to really show. Yachty speaking on the Kendrick and Drake rap battle. Let's go. Clear. He might they might repeat some of those parts, but they're all like 10 second clips anyway, so we'll just rewatch it. Really had a lot more animosity. And you felt it hmm. that Kendrick clearly had a lot more animosity. And you felt it. So I actually don't agree with that. I think Drake had more animosity, which is why Drake went super personal first. Um, even on Euphoria, Kendrick goes like, yo. We can keep this a friendly fade. Like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. We can just do a normal rap battle. It's Drake who took it personal um, by mentioning people's families and all this type of shit. So I don't I don't believe Kendrick had more animosity. In every song that he dropped. Um, because Drake dropped great records. But, I mean, but also, let's be fair, Drake was deemed a loser in this battle before it started. Okay, so here we go with this fucking bullshit. Let, I'm going to play that one more time so y'all can hear. Drake was deemed a loser in this battle before it started. Stop with this bullshit. Revisionist history. Lil Yachty, the hip-hop connoisseur, right? He's like, yeah. He's the hip-hop connoisseur. This is where everyone... The legend of Lil Yachty, right? He's done so much to earn... This status in hip hop, right? This nigga has never really released anything of any worth ever. Musically, I have music on SoundCloud that I recorded without a, even a fucking audio mixer into my laptop that's better than what Little Yachty raps. And I'm sure you do at home too. Who, who Little Yachty, who in the industry do you know? Who is keeping you afloat? There's nothing in Little Yachty's music, and I'm just going off, go off on this small tangent. There's nothing in Lil Yachty's music, in his own rap music, that suggests that he should be writing for anybody. There's no Lil Yachty songs where you listen to it and be like, yo, he should put his pen on and help this nigga with his bars because they need. There's nothing in his music that suggests he should be writing for anybody. I said this about Tiro Ack. Who do you know to keep getting these placements, bro? I, I don't get it. But anyways, he says Drake was deemed a loser before the battle. <laughs> oh man. Never mind the fact that first person shooter or like that. These were not the first shots that Kendrick and Drake has taken at each other. This goes back way back to the 2014 Grammys where Ken where Kendrick got an apology from Macklemore because Macklemore beat Kendrick um 
for album of the year, rap album of the year. People forget Macklemore also beat Jay Z Magna Carta album. Macklemore also beat Kanye West Yeezus. Macklemore also beat Drake's Nothing Was the Same. And obviously, Macklemore beat Kendrick's Good Kid Mad City. Macklemore only apologized to Kendrick and say, no, you should have won. This goes back to Drake back then, salty about that. We all needed, this is Drake, we all need an apology. He said this verbatim. We all need an apology. Why just Kendrick? This goes back to the control verse. This goes back all the way back, right? So to say that Drake was somehow deemed a loser before the battle started is false. When push-ups came out, and we weren't sure if we were if Kendrick was even going to respond. It was all hugs and smiles. Even for me, even me, I was like, if you go watch my reaction, I was like, yo, I don't know where Kendrick is at, but this is not some shit he can ignore. Kendrick, like, even in my push-ups reaction, bro, I'm saying like, we might not get a Kendrick response until like November or some shit or next year type shit. What type of shit, Kendrick being? It wasn't like, oh, but even if Drake, no matter what he does, it's, it's a lose-lose. Then when Taylor May Freestyle came out and then Drake is online trolling Kendrick with the Compton Community College sweatshirt and he's just trolling in comments about Kendrick. Um, uh, these boys these boys don't know what they're going to do. He's trolling Kendrick for a response. Even Drake doesn't believe Kendrick is going to get on record and respond anytime soon. Nobody was looking at this like, yo, Drake is... Isn't a isn't a lose lose. He, he was deemed a loser from the start. Stop with this shit, bro. What the hell are we talking about? Oh, let's be fair. Drake was deemed a loser in this battle before it started. Oh my god. Because people don't like him and haven't, and he's won for a very long time. If that's the case, then why did Drake soundly defeat Me Meek Mill in that in their rap beef? Why did Drake, even after the ghostwriting shit came out, why, how did he soundly defeat Meek Mill? Who Meek Mill at that point was, you can call the hood favorite. Can we think before we speak, please? But again, this is Lil Yachty. Hip-hop connoisseur Lil Yachty. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 what is great music, right? And he's sat at the top of the throne and still honestly respectfully i think he still sits at the top of the throne um i think that even if opinionated masses would say that kendrick won um i don't think that you know people are going to stop listening to drake and that's facts that's facts drake will still have his career um as long as the allegations that kendrick made turn out to be not true you know, about the NBC getting raided and all this. Drake will still have his career. Like, Drake's career is going, like, flush, you know? In, like, the art of a diss track, what do you think is more important? Like, the hard-hitting bars that are like, oh, my God, this is really going to affect his life and his, like, career or whatever? Or the song that maybe has those, but it gets the people going? <laughs> I'll answer this. The exposés in diss tracks in rap are not necessary. This is like some recent shit, like to expose your opponent. Like, uh, well, your baby mom used to date my security guard's best friend. Ha ha, you're a bitch for that. Like, like, like this is some new shit. Some of the best diss tracks of all time, like The Bitch and You by Common, where he came at Ice Cube, there's no expose. There's no like, yo, Ice Cube, I heard your grandma back in the day used to fuck on my uncle's brother's grandfather. Therefore, I somehow have also, I don't know what the fuck, that type of expose that this Kendrick and Drake beef was riddled with. That's the type of shit that was in there. That's not necessary in a diss record. An ether by Nas. There is no expose. The best diss records are all pointing out obvious. They're all pointing out the obvious. The best diss records from Takeover to Ether, The Bitch and You, No Vaseline. They're all pointing out the obvious, and it's all pretty much pup like information that's already public. No Vaseline by Ice Cube. He he says uh, MC Ren. I remember you drove a V two ten. 
broke as a joke. Yo, you yell in Compton, but you move to Riverside. Um, you getting you getting fucked out your money by your you know Jerry Heller. This is stuff that was already out. Like people, there was already word that MC Rand had moved out of Compton. The conversation of Jerry Heller taking money from them was already out. He's all, he's just pointing out the obvious. On Ether, when Nas said, yo, uh, uh, you look like, <laughs> Nas said, Jay-Z look like the camel. Like, you know, the cigarette box, the camel. He said, you look like that nigga. He said, your man stabbed Lance on Rivera, made you take the blame. This is stuff that, these are already extremely popular rumors, even though it wasn't true. According to Lance himself, to Un. These are already very popular rumors. Oh, what you think you're getting girls now because of your looks? You know mustache having whiskers like a rat compared to beans you whack? People always felt, or not always, but there was word like, yo, is, you know, when Beanie Siegel was coming up, shout out to Jan in the chat. We know how you feel about Beanie, your man's Beanie Siegel. When Beanie Siegel was coming up, there was like the, the pitter powder, like, oh, he's kind of washing Jay-Z on some of these records. He's kind of getting hove on some of these records. Whiskers like a rat. Compared to beans, you whack. Your man stabbed on Eminem, murdered you on your own shit. This is all like he's pointing out the obvious. So I think a diss record is all about just out rapping the guy and making clever bars. It doesn't have to be your baby mama was it with this nigga at this. Like, bro, I don't even care about that shit. Like, I don't even care about these rappers' lives enough to know what their baby mama did. To worry about what type of kids they don't or do have. Like, I don't care about that shit. And it doesn't... The best disc records of all time don't have that element in it. So, it's odd that it's becoming normalized nowadays. Because that's that's never been it in rap beef. 300 bars by the game. 15-minute disc record. There is no expose. It's just game clowning G-Unit. Mocking how 50 Cent singing... Mocking how Lloyd Banks raps. Yeah, he he game comes at Young Buck for getting robbed and for his G unit chain. But again, it's public information. People already knew this. Game just put it on record. You a bitch. That's hard to swallow. You got robbed for your spinning G unit chain in Chicago. I call my nigga Jojo to get it back. He had the shit in his hands, but you ain't have 10 stacks. You didn't have $10,000, broke nigga. This is what he's saying. There ain't no expose. Yo, your, your grandma's uncle used to fuck with. My uncle, which means you gay, that's that's not a part of this. It's, there's no rules. There's no rules, and, and and it's not like it's not like the NCAA March Madness, you know, where you have you have, it's been the same way. Every rap battle has been scored and handled a little differently, and it's not officiated, you know. It's officiated by the fans. So while earlier in this comment, Lil Yachty tried to discount what the masses had to say. But that's who determines the winner, bro. Like, it's the masses. This seems like the most officiated For sure. beef uh, as far as, like, when it comes to, like, winner-ish. Um, but I always said, I said to Drake, I told him, I feel like, I feel like. It was, he said, is what? Did he provide an answer? Like, winner-ish. Um, but I always said, I said he didn't to finish Drake, I told him, I feel like, I feel like, it, like, I don't feel like you won or lost. You know, I don't feel like <laughs> that nigga lost, bro. And by telling Drake that, Drake knows you're not being real with him. Drake knows he fucking lost. So by you coming in his phone being like, yo, bro, you didn't win or lose. Now you're looking like an OVO dick rider, like Kendrick was saying. Like I've like rappers have lost and then lost everything. <laughs> like like maybe not lost their money, but like but it's like Yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? And like it just was never looked at the same. I don't think that yeah, no, that, that's not the situation for Drake. I don't think anyone expected, even if Kendrick lost, I don't think people are expecting, like, yo, Kendrick, he's about to lose all his fans, and he's never going to release a good album again. He's depressed. He's done. Losing a rap beef is not like dying, bro. Like, Jay-Z lost his rap beef versus Nas, and Jay-Z went on, his career continued like the shit never happened. But what, what, is, what, is, but what has never left from that beef? There's always now going to be the Jay-Z Nas, Jay-Z Nas. Nas cemented himself in a conversation to where many hip-hop heads will still put Nas over Jay-Z. I wouldn't, but Nas has cemented that. And remember, when Nas and Jay-Z were beefing, Jay-Z was on the way up. Nas was kind of stagnating. But then by winning, Nas equalized himself with Jay-Z again. 
So it's and now to this day, you can look on search any social media platform. People are still debating Jay Z Nas. It's an unequivocal W. No matter what what people feel, you can feel Jay Z had the better records. Jay Z was stating facts. Nas was stating uh, middle school insults, which is not true. Jay Z said it, it was written. He said you got uh, one was that uh, one of your albums was uh the other was Elmatic. The uh album was it was written. No, those shits is both classic, bro. Stop capping. But anyways, no matter what people feel about the about those records, you can say Jay-Z had the better disses, you can say Jay-Z had the better uh songs. Everyone recognizes Nas one. And that's what this Kendrick Lamar and Drake thing, that's what it's gonna be. People might look back and say, Yo, Family Matters was the better song, even though it's not, it's not better than like not like us. Um, but it's going to be unequivocal. Kendrick won. So by you c- talking to Drake Yachty and telling him, I don't think you won or lost, it's crazy. You told, in one breath, you told the nigga, yo, you didn't win. But in the other breath, you're telling him you didn't lose. What type of shit is that? Shout out to Jen in the chat. Should we play a Benny Siegel song? Should we play a Benny Siegel song while we, uh, for the $10 super chat? I might do that for you. We might play that Benny Siegel song you like so much. Let's finish this up. Lost and then lost everything. <laughs> like, like maybe not lost their money, but like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And like, it just was never looked at the same. I don't think that this has happened to Drake. I think Drake will still be in everyone's rap to Spotify at the end of the year. Um, at the time. And why do people think this? <laughs> why do people think like, yo, y'all talk all this. This is another OVO uh, dick writing cope that I saw in the past week. Y'all talk about all this shit about Drake, uh, but he's still going to be on everyone's, he's still going to be on your uh, end of year, most listened to on, on your Spotify rap. Like, no, he's not, bro. But there are a few Drake songs I listen to, and even those are far and few between. Like, in the gym, I listen to 10 bands. Um, There's really only two albums by Drake that I like. I like Take Care, which is... Now, in retrospect, we know Take Care had a heavy influence by The Weeknd. Take Care is basically Drake featuring The Weeknd. That's how much of that sound is, that The Weeknd influenced. Shot, shot for me, practice, the ride. Like, like, and there's even more Crew Love. All those are Weeknd. Like, those are some of the best songs on the album. Take Care is like Drake featuring The Weeknd. But it's marketed to you like Drake's solo album. So there's like two Drake albums I like, Take Care, and I like If You're Reading This Is Too Late, which we now know is Quentin Miller and Party Next Door. They did like 40, 30 to 50% of the album is Quentin Miller and Party Next Door joint effort. I like Scorpion too. I do like Scorpion. Um, And there are some like views I think has, and look, listen to how unbiased I can be. I'm telling you the Drake shit that I like. Views as an album... Yeah, the six upside down, it's a nine now and all this shit, you can keep that. Views have very strong singles. I'm talking about the Drake album, Views from the Six. Very strong singles. Controller, One Dance, can't take that away from him. The album cuts, though. The non-singles, I can't get with those. But they had the strongest singles of any Drake album. Was Hotline Bling on um Views? I forget. But I do like Child's Play from Views. That's one of my favorite Drake songs, Child's Play. I don't like the whole cheese, uh, why you got, and and this is what I say when I say I don't, I've never really liked Drake's music because one, I just don't think it's that good. I've never thought he was like a great rapper like that. But two, I don't relate to it. And then, you know, what's the OVO dick writing response is, oh, you you don't get women, you don't get chicks, you don't. That's why you don't relate to him because he don't get pussy. <laughs> okay. I just don't relate to how Drake speaks about his issues with women. Like, I, we all go through, as men, we go through things with women. I don't process what I went through with women the same way Drake processes it. Processes it. And here's an example. On Child's Play, he goes like, why you got to fight with me at Cheesecake Factory? You know I love to go there. I'm not mad at this nigga for eating that cheesecake factory. But, like, I'm not really arguing with women like that. Like, if you got an issue, we can sit in silence. I don't care. So the whole arguing at cheesecake and we going up at cheesecake, 
I just don't ever see myself in that situation. And I've been, the funny thing is when I, when that song came out, I was, I'm not going to go deep. I'm not even going to go deep, but I was in a situation with a female at Cheesecake where she was acting all, whatever, however she was acting. I'm not fighting. I'm, bro, I'm not going back and forth with you, my nigga. Like, man, it's none of that. I got to wait. What I do? Drake is fighting with the chick at the chicken and cheesecake. What I do? I call the waitress. Yo, we splitting this bill. She paying for hers. I'm paying for mine. Boom. Okay, boom. Now she's shocked. Drake is going to fight with her. I'm going to hand her her portion of the bill. That's just it. <laughs> we ain't going to go too deep on that, though. But anyways, yeah, this is like 2015, 2016 era. But anyways, um, why you got to fight me, fight me at Cheesecake? And I, what I'm explaining right now is why I don't relate to Drake's music. You know I love to go there. Um, what do you say? You took the you took the keys to my Bugatti to... Uh, he said something in the in the I can, I could look up the lyrics, but it's just more fun to try to recall them. He said something in the vein of you you took my Bugatti to go to CVS to buy like tampons, and it pissed him off. And it, it's just like I would I don't process my issues with women the same way Drake's processes his issues. And that's just one example of how I just don't relate to his music. Like I said, we all go through girl issues, which is, and this is like a bulk of Drake's music is girl issues. But I just don't, <laughs> I don't go through those issues in the same way as Drake. Uh, Antoine, shout out to Antoine in the chat. Drake has gotten zero spins on my phone for 15 years. <laughs> Guarantee he won't be on my top anything list. Well, unfortunately, I don't use Spotify anymore. So I don't get the Spotify wrapped, which Spotify wrapped was great. I use Tidal and I really only listen to Tidal when I'm at the gym. I listen to a lot of CDs and I have a vinyl player um, and I listen to music on YouTube also. And then when I do my album reactions, I do it on Tidal. I just don't use Spotify. But my my number one artist on Spotify or, or excuse me, on Tidal it's going to be what I listen to most in the gym, which is probably Chief Keef, RJ, Mr. L.A., um, Future. Um, yeah, that that type of shit. Yeah, RJ, yeah, Future. There's one more that I'm missing, but that's who's... It's not going to be Drake is what I'm saying, but like Drake's... Drake, like Dick, the Dovio Dick Riding Committee, they just think because they listen to Drake so much... Yo, y'all are going to have them on, on your top. Bro, I can guarantee you that's never going to happen. Facts. Facts! Pop. Unless, I won't say never, unless Drake releases some music that I really like, then yeah, he might be on that. But he just hasn't done that in years for me. I think it'll still, like, it'll still, he, he could still drop hits and, and it will still hit Control the Summer. Um, I think that Kendrick made very smart moves, you know, and... Um, and, uh, okay, so the connoisseur of hip hop, you know, all things knowing in hip hop, the voice, <laughs> the pen, <laughs> Lil Yachty. This is an opinion everyone was waiting for, right? Lil Yachty's? Let me get to these chats. If you got something to say, put it in the chat. You know, if you disagree with me, let, let's put it in the chat. Let, let's argue. I'm going to try to figure out how to get so to where people can call in, talk they shit. I'm going to try to figure out how that works. I think I might have to use StreamYard, but I'm pretty sure you can do it on OBS too, or maybe Discord. I got to figure out how it works. But um, yeah, let's get to these shots. Beef goes back to 2014. He's Okay, Marianne. Shout out to Marianne in the chat. She's talking about the Kendrick Drake beef. Goes back to 2014 when 